And as we see now, the Ukrainian boxer making his way in first. He is in the red corner, Alexander Yusik from the Ukraine. He'll be boxing Sirai Kerniev from Belarus. Twenty-four years old is Yusik, ranked number ten in the Ayibo World Rankings. He's got a dearth of experience under his belt. He boxed in Beijing. He got sixth place. He lost to Clemente Russo, the Italian legend, in the quarterfinals. He also boxed right here at the Aiba World Championships. However, in Milan in 2009, where he placed third, he did box in Baku in 09 as well, where he grabbed first at the Aiba President's Cup. He's been around the block. Sergey Korniev has as well. He boxed also in Milan at the 2009 Aiba World Championships where he lost to Hergio Sepp of Croatia 16 to 10 in the first preliminary round. He's a two-time Belarusian national champ. 2008 at the 81 kilograms weight class in 2010 at 91. Here he is making his way to the ring now. Sergey Korniev beat Julio Castillo of Ecuador 25 to 13, who came into this tournament ranked number five in the Aiba World Rankings. He's 23 years old. Gets his mouth guard placed as he steps up into the ring. Ranked number 38 by Aiba. The judges, Zooks, Meretniyazov, Sinar, Lorado, and Basi will be counting the punches from ringside. And the judge from Scotland, Mr. Andrew Caulfield. Now, it's very important to note here, this is indeed a rematch from earlier this year in the Ukraine where Alexander was stopped by Korniev in the first round of the finals. However, he beat Korniev when they were younger and lighter at 81 kilograms in 2008 at the European Championships. There, Alexander outpointed him 11 to two in Liverpool, England. So this is indeed a grudge match in the truest sense of the term. The Ukrainian Yusik in red, the Belarusian Karniu in blue. Yusik in the second bout of this tournament, won due to a retirement in the third round by his opponent. And likewise, Karniu in the fourth bout, the last bout of this tournament, he also was able to retire his opponent in the third round. So both of these boxers on even keel through one minute of round one, the action is starting to pick up a little bit. Yusik very strong. You could just see the striations in his deltoids and in his back, his shoulders, he's just Really, really a finely tuned athlete. Sometimes being too muscular is a disadvantage in this sweet science. However, Yusik doesn't seem to have been disadvantaged much having made it to the semifinal round and he's boxing in the southpaw style. Karniev, orthodox. 
Some good movement by both boxers. Neither of them is standing in one place. Look at that quick lateral step by Yusik to stay out of harm's way of that big right hand. Karniev, you want to circle away from the power punch to the blind side, as they call it, when you're facing an opponent who boxes out of a different stance. And now Karniev starting to follow Yusik around the ring. Nice left hand by Yusik. Looks like it scored to the, the chin of Karniev. Punches out a strong, stiff jab, does Yusik. Nice roll by Karniev, and he eats another one, snaps his chin back. Karniev looking for an opportunity to dent big Alexander Yusek of the Ukraine. Wants to put a dent in his, in his defense, which for the most part has been aided by some great lateral movement. He's also been showing a strong educated jab, and as he prays to the powers that be, in his own corner, will await the official score after one round. There's the score. After one round, seven to two, Alexander Yusik from the Ukraine. This is the semifinals of the men's heavyweight weight division. Aiba World Boxing Championships here in Baku, Azerbaijan. Round number two. And now with a somewhat commanding lead of five points going into the second round, that's gonna give the Ukrainians some tactical advantages. There's a strong right hand, that jab, the educated jab of Alexander Yusik. He continues to throw punches both during his advance and during his retreat. And it looks like he's going to start to smother Karniev with both hands. And Karniev is going to need to weather that storm and stay on him. There's a nice body shot. Karniev throws to Yusik. Yusik complains through a hand gesture that it was a little low, however. The referee lets boxing resume. Nice left jab by Yusik, it seemed, as the referee was calling their attention away. Not sure if the judges will score that one. It was a nice right hand by Karniev. However, he's going to have to throw more of them. He seems a little phased now by the pressure that Yusik is putting on him. And furthermore, he seems to be following Yusik around the ring, which cannot work in his favor. It never works in the favor of a boxer who has to follow the other one around. Yusik doing a good job of letting Karniev come to him and then picking him off with great counterpunching skills. Great defensive instincts. Karniev needs to get through that. And now Yusik, as we said, ahead on points going into this round. He's even starting to let his hands go a little more, perhaps a little em emboldened by the advantage he had on points, is now going to maybe try and go in for the knockout of Sergei Korniev. Wild right hand by Korniev misses. Yusik, the train keeps pulling forward. If you got a jab in this sport, it's quite easy. Yusik is showing us he does indeed. Kornia seems like he's wasting a lot of energy in there, throwing punches with ill effect. He's punching Yusik from too far, from a long distance, and he's got the shorter arms. Far from efficient boxing, 
Karniev may just find himself punching himself out of contention. And there's a big left hand by Yusik on the ropes, and the referee is going to issue a standing eight count against Sergey Korniev. And it looks like this is the way the fight has been headed since the second round began. A big left hand as the Ukrainian boxer clearly starts to pull away in this race by a few lengths now, I'm sure. And you can see now from that second round what started off in the first half of that round as Korniev following Yusik around the ring. Tides turned about the halfway point and Yusik started to chase Korniev around the ring and landing punches at the same time. Gets himself a standing eight count right there and you could see the, the swelling under both eyes of Sergei Korniev as he talks to his corner, and there it is, 15 to 6. That was an 8-4 round for the Ukrainian, increasing the lead to 9. And Korniev needs to change his style if he's going to win this bout. He cannot continue as he did in the second to just follow Yusik around without throwing his hands. That little jab right there, that right hand from a long distance, they're wasting his energy and they're wasting his time. And Yusik knows it. Look how he comes in, he advances, he throws punches, he retreats, almost like Manny Pacquiao in there. With such great use of his feet does Yusik have, it makes it quite easy for him to, to score when he needs to and to get out of harm's way when he has to. And again, Yusik really just following. Look at the lateral movement. Great footwork, great slip there by Yusik. And he is completely dictating the pace of this fight. Great ring generalship. And Korniev seems like his only chance emerging victorious from this bout would have to be with a knockout punch. And it may not come in one punch. It may need bunches of punches in order to make its presence or to make their presence known. However, up till now, it doesn't seem as if Karniev has it in him. At least not against this opponent. He's very flat-footed, Karniev is, and as a result, he doesn't have the spring and the hop. Look at the difference in styles. Look at how Yusik is bouncing around a lot. He's on his toes. That's where a boxer wants to be. That's where a boxer needs to be at all times. Better to advance, to retreat, lateral movement, to throw punches, to get that spring in your step is vital. Carney have a flat-footed boxer, not throwing too many punches, and when he does, they're not coming with any sort of force or authority that will give Yusik any reason to be on the lookout. Yusik is doing whatever he wants in here, and there it is, another standing eight and Karniev puts his hands up as to say, what can I do? Well, you know what? I don't think there is anything he could do at this point. Styles make fights, and Yusik is outstyling him in this bout. <laughs> Chopping right hand by Karniev. Too little, too late. That one may have scored. It's not a score or two that he needs right now. There's 10 seconds left in this contest. Stop! And as you hear the countdown here at the Haydar Alley of Sports Complex in downtown Baku, this man, Alexander Yusuf, will most certainly emerge victorious after what amounted to be a very one-sided contest over Sergei Korniev of Belarus. Listen to the crowd. 
the Azerbaijanis really, really letting their neighboring Ukrainian boxer, Alexander Yusik, hear it as they chant. And sure enough, by a score, well-earned, well-deserved, 23 to 10, Alexander Yusik will advance to the finals tomorrow night. Congratulations. Great contest, great performance, and now in a complete and pure selfless gesture, Sergei Korniev thanks everyone in attendance for being such good fans and giving him an opportunity to box this great Ukrainian in the semifinals of the 2011 Aiba World Championships. And there's another reason why it's starting to get loud in here. And that's because the fans know what you around the world are about to learn. And that is that the Azerbaijani heavyweight, Tamor Mamadou, is about to make his way to the ring.